yo, yo, what's going on, boys? We're officially back from our little vacation. And we're ready to fucking trade. Let's go! And we're looking for a cliff dive on these MFFU accounts that I overheld my shorts on. So I'm in a little bit of a loss. But we're coming back nightly. Assuming we do dump off a cliff. Which, if we do, that means New York Open, we should pop through the highs again, go for a little bit of a run. And then, because we are in a bear market, we could dump off a cliff again. But who knows? Maybe the market's finally shifting and we are going to be bullish. Who knows? If only I had a little crystal ball to tell me everything that's going to happen. If only. Good morning, boys. Mr. Sticky, long time no talk. Mikel, good morning. Even though it's 9 p.m. for me over here in Bali. <laughs> and we do have our Apex 50k accounts all stacked up. Only meant to buy 10, but accidentally bought 11. So we are going to trade 5 at a time and then 6 at a time. Assuming all those pass. We're going to buy nine more for a total of 20 Apex performance funded accounts. Or we could just do 10 PAs, get the get the payout, and then add 10 more. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Focus on getting these first 11 funded, though, which is what we're going to do today. The New York Open, we are more than likely going to take the longs depending on what happens here in the next 20 minutes before open yeah yeah 10 10 apex accounts is plenty there's still a 20k payout every 10 days with a like what one thousand dollar investment assuming you pass all of them not the first time like one thousand like 300 or something because the pa activations like hundred hundred dollars or something like that so times ten that's a thousand plus the thirty eight dollars or thirty dollars whatever it is like fourteen hundred dollars total assuming you don't fail any which i've already failed a shitload so <laughs> so this is our first time trading apex since i was in the philippines which is like two or three months ago where i blew over a hundred accounts <laughs> And then I was like, all right, you know what, just fuck it. I'm, I'm not doing this trailing drawdown shit anymore. <laughs> but now we're going to go for it again. See if we can make it happen. Put my phone on do not disturb. We are not disturbed. Hoping for a little cliff dive here, but it's not looking like it's going to happen. So we might be bailing. And be long. Looks like, yeah, we're slowly creeping up. It does seem like we could just get a clip dive right here. As long as this doesn't break the highs again, we're fine. We'll just stop out if it does break the highs. Which looks like it's going to. It was up 2K on these earlier for my short right here, but I only sold like one or one con two contracts. <laughs> Then I added them all back right there. So now we're red. AF. Let's see if it fucking rips that high. Could be a brutal push. I'm a little bit nervous here. But if it rejects this, then we're looking good for a nice move down. Get her done. It just wants to rip that high one more time before it. A little dump speed. We'll hold one con for this because I think it's going to fall. We were minus like almost 1500, I think. So we got our buffer bag. We were 500 away from max loss. <laughs> we still went max con for this double top, too. What have, you, what have you boys been up to, man? I feel like I haven't been live in forever, but it was really just like a week or two.
Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, this was a classic bear trap right here. That caught us real good. That, that was rough. I was like, no way we're flipping bullish. We're in a bear market. It's going to go off the cliff. Cliff never came. Got a bull train that ran through my fucking face instead. I think I think we are gonna get out of this though. So we're gonna get pushes up a little more. Let's bail. Could have been the last little push up though. Kind of doubt it. I feel like we are flipping into a bull market, which kind of sucks that we're doing the Apex accounts in a bull market because. Bull trains are nowhere near as scary as the dives off a cliff. Okay, yeah, well, actually, we still have some time. Yeah, 15 minutes to open. <clears throat> I don't really know what to do here besides getting longs, but then right before open, it could just be a little pop off. I really don't know what we're going to do for open now. I don't even know if we're going to take a trade for open. I'm assuming it's just going to be a giant green dildo up, but we're already at the highs. What is going to happen at open? Could pop up to what? 88? 988? And drop back down? Maybe we just go fucking full blown bull train today? We're up how much? Of a gift. Ooh, the daily does look like we uh we bottomed out. Hmm. What if we get a massive rift today? It's the wick at 781. We're only up a hundred points. Not even a hundred points in the day. 781. 178. I don't know, so we're up like 100, 100, 180 points. If we've seen, oh, look at this. We're hitting this level right here. It could try the shorts one more time. Yeah, not the best idea, but we are hitting this key level right here. So let's see. Let's see if we get the rejection. And then if we reject, drop, then we can go longs and open. That'd be perfect. That'd be a perfect day. Best case scenario, but still bullish. Pretty much doubt we're gonna stop right here. That one was a good measure. About to bail. Okay, pops. Any more? Yeah. Might blow this shit actually. Let's see if any of key support level will you know, give us a rejection. Fatty rejection before open. 15 minutes. Probably should have waited for a little sweep of that level. Yeah. I still look bullish. Now it's be toast. Right when it looks like it's gonna pump, it dumps. So let's see this. We have a long way up to go though. <laughs> Not enough. This looks like it's cocking back to fucking rip through the ceiling. <laughs> the little cock back will be our exit. We probably won't stay in this for too long. Let's just take one off just in case. I really don't want to get in lungs, but this might be what we have to do today. Oh, yeah. yeah this is getting way too bullish. Jesus. I don't know. Yeah, no, I I don't think this is gonna work out. I and mean, there there's a decent chance, but 
Tu bon, tu peux aller. Tu peux aller de ça, tu peux aller. Oui, oui. Et F. Found Apex. So, yeah, make kill. We're going to switch to the Apex accounts. And we're going to leave MFFU for now. Did something really stupid yesterday with my funded MFFU accounts. I had I had 10k in them too. <laughs> I fucked up so bad. I have 5k in, in two of them. And I fucked them up so bad. It's been a dumbass. So I'm trying to play it a little safer and not be so stupid. And our short play might actually have worked. Sounds robotic and cool. Anyone else hearing that? I'm using my headphones for uh, my gaming headphones. Maybe that's why. If we get this nice little dump right here before open, I think we're going to max con longs. <laughs> Our longs are not done. Yeah, that is probably why. I wonder if we're done with our bull markets. We, we very well could. Could draw quite a bit more this week. 457. Be a far level. 692 is another level. It's 300 points away from here. Yeah, wow. I'm I'm starting to think we are flipping bullish though. We might have to be uh, looking for longs today. Had a big old clip dive this morning. Boom! Pumped right back up. Broke the highs. Shit, I really don't know what to do for open here. It's really just based on our bias. Are we bullish or are we bearish? And the daily looks bullish, but that could change so fucking quick. I prefer for us to be bearish. We could pass these Apex counts. The bull runs are just like this. Fucking stairs up. But a cliff dive, we pass like that with... With five cons. We'll, we'll go max five cons. Unless it's a super sick play, then maybe we'll go ten. But I prefer not to go ten. <laughs> so ten minutes to open, and we're still on a bull run. What about that one day... Where we had the bull run in London, it was like a mega bull run, not like this. I feel like I feel like it was just like straight up trend. And then as soon as market opened, boom, dump, fucking two hundred points, and then what? Another two hundred points after that. I remember I blew my MFFU funded accounts <laughs> trying to night catch that. What? The last time we were live or two times ago? Apex accounts, you go long and short on news. That's how you pass them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying not to do any news gambles. I, I gambled on a CPI with my live account, and I got fucking wrecked. I went way too heavy and just got annihilated. I don't know why I was in longs. So stupid of me, but whatever. We have nine minutes. We we could dump this off just a little bit. Nah, shorts do not look good here. They they look pretty good, but they it's just too risky. At like nine eighty seven a short would be nice. So like up here somewhere. But we'll do that on Apex. If we are gonna go in shorts. Seven ish, yeah, somewhere around there. Could see the open pop up to there, potentially reject and dump off a cliff. Of 
four. Who knows? Yeah, who, who the fuck knows what's gonna happen today? Today's a hard read for me at least. So what tops that? Yeah, yeah. Yesterday I just did. I made. I I was fucking. I did so well yesterday, and I over traded my accounts into the ground. I blew my XFAs too. Being a fucking idiot. So stupid. Literally, in the first two hours of yesterday, I was up, what, 14,500 14, ish across all my accounts. <laughs> and by the end of the day, fucking burned them. <laughs> I was just, I was just being so stupid. I traded for like eight hours. My, uh, my sister, and my girl went somewhere else while I was trading. So then, after I was up like 14, 15 G's, I, uh, I was just like sitting here like walking around my my villa and i was like i'm bored as shit i'm just gonna keep trading <laughs> and then i just no what's funny is though i i burned that that 15k profit that i had plus plus lost some and blew the accounts but first i blew all the profits made it all back <laughs> so i went from 14 15k profit down to zero and then back up to 15k profit and then and then I blew the accounts because I just kept on trading. <laughs> it, it was just it was just a stupid day. I hate those kind of days. The worst part is I was in profit in all those accounts from from the past like few days, just uh just slowly um you know taking two hundred four hundred dollar days, and then one day I just fuck it all up. I hate that shit. Yeah, yeah, I was just tilting yesterday. It was, it was stupid. It happens, though. I gotta stop doing that. You see, I've said it for so long, and now you go to war with me and the Bulls? <laughs> yeah, KBM was calling the Bull train right before it happened. He was calling it right here, and then it popped up. Dumped off. And then sure as shit, yeah, we're flying up. In five, six minutes till open. I really don't know what to do for open. We should do a little test trade here to see if these accounts will even work. Let's do let's do micros so we don't uh, get fucking popped for no reason. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, we got five accounts. We're minus eleven dollars. Fucking longs. Okay. <clears throat> so we're all set there. We're gonna trade minis up to five. Oh god, I'm really, really starting to think that we're just gonna fucking instantly dive off a cliff right at open. Just like that one day. We, should we take the gamble? Or maybe a pop up and then a dive off a cliff? Because this 87 level looks like it wants to get ran. It really does. And look at this. This is Wick Mania. Boom. Wick up to there. Dump off a cliff. I'm just, I'm just leaning towards the bullish bias. What the fuck was this yesterday? I did all my dumb shit in the morning yesterday before market open, so <laughs> I didn't even I didn't trade any of this. This is terrible. I traded this yesterday. I caught that full jump, stop loss around there, and then I chased long or chased shorts after a, after this fucking pop up. I tried shorting again, thinking we we're gonna break through the lows. Got ran up, lost all my profit somewhere around there. Then I switched to longs, got all my money back across the, the six accounts, and then this fucked me up right here. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday was terrible for me. Could have been good if I just walked away, but I fucking bored. Literally. Should have uh should have texted my my sister and my, my girlfriend and be like, yo, where you at? and like met up with them or something. <laughs> then I fucked around and found out. Three more minutes. Golly, this. 
I want to I wanna be bullish, but I'm just thinking bearish in my head this whole time. I'm thinking we literally just dump off a cliff and our, our downtrend isn't done yet. I think I think the same for crypto. I'm I have like I have like thirty something grand. I'm gonna put into bonk <laughs> as soon as uh, as soon as I find a nice uh, a nice level. I'm thinking around seven eight cents for bonk just to take out its its previous lows and then start the bull train. But the Bitcoin halving is coming in three days, so I'm wondering if we are flipping bullish here. Hard to say, really hard to say. When you make money like that, just trade the next account. Yeah, yeah, I was just being an idiot. I was being real stupid. Yeah, I'm, we're back on Apex today. I have 11. I only wanted 10, but I, I have 11. So we have we have five accounts here first, and we're going to trade the six accounts. And this, I was making this a group. <laughs> <laughs> for for the ten accounts, then I realized there's eleven. So just to not confuse me, I made that one too. Yeah, I'm, I'm really thinking we get this rip up at open. Maybe maybe not even to like. Could even go to eight eight eighteen k, but. We might even just top this high, go down. But... It's really, really hard to say for me right now. Who's got some ideas for open? We have one minute. Well, I don't think we're going to trade it. Where did I go for two weeks? So I <clears throat> I had a flight um, two weeks ago on Wednesday. And uh, actually, something super fucked up happened. Um, we uh we were going to St. Lucia for for my buddy's wedding and uh you know we packed up everything our Airbnb is done I bought tickets for St. Lucia I bought tickets from St. Lucia to Peru so I had two flights I bought the Airbnb in Peru you know fucking had everything all set up for like the next month or two and uh when we get to the uh to the check-in counter you know, the lady's like oh because my girlfriend's Thai right so she has a Thai passport She's like, oh, do you have a visa for your two-hour layover in uh, in Hawaii? And for, like, the two hours in New York, whatever, we had two layovers in the U.S. And we're like, why the fuck would we need a visa for a layover? Oh, is it, is it going to be a cliff dive? No. Is it going to be a full-blown cliff dive? Oh, my God. I don't know. We're, we're not going to trade this, though. It's just it's a little unpredictable, if you ask me. I wouldn't mind joining the stomp though. But is it gonna stop and pump? Oh shit. Let's see if we can draw a trend line really quick. Maybe we can make a play off the trend line. It'd be like somewhere like right there. We bullish. But yeah, long story short, need a visa for a layover in the US if you're not from the US. And uh, basically, all my plans went to shit. Couldn't get on the plane. And then I had to maneuver. And then now I'm in Bali. <laughs> so then after that, um, you know, I had to go to the hotel, stuff like that in South Korea. And kind of figure out what I'm going to do next. Decided on Bali. Came to Bali. Then did a little social detox. Is this dump going to be fucking ferocious or what? Golly, I wonder if we could just max con this shit just for this little dump to down here. If it's going to break this trend line, we'll see. We'll see right here if it breaks. But, um, yeah, this, this is, this is trying to figure out what it's going to do. All my indicators are saying short to 893. So yeah, like right here. These indicators are kind of stupid because they also said that the bull trend is over and then it fucking popped up through the roof. Yeah. 
don't really know what's gonna happen here. I, I don't I don't see a trade here. Besides maybe knife catching this, but I'm not knife catching. Not today. Yes. Yeah, I'm healthy. Everything's all good. I just had a little uh little flight problem with visas and then uh decided to do a little detox. Which is good. I feel refreshed and ready to fucking go hard again. Potentially get a bunch of PAs with Apex. What? Pop to 1800 then short to 1760 17675 oh my god all the way down here i'm i'm actually looking for that dude i'm looking for the nice short play it's really deciding if it's going to dump off a cliff here and we're definitely going to try joining the cliff dive if it does end up going that route which i really hope it does because i really do not want to try passing these accounts in a bull run be much nicer if we could just catch one dump and pass like instantly. We have one minute in this five minute. If this wicks, we, we might actually be going to 18k. One minute, five seconds left. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Bouncing off our uh, little 50 day EMA right there. Huh? What if I drew this trend line wrong? Seems to be respecting more something like this. No, it's not like that either. Oh yeah, something like that. Okay. It's breaking it. We're gonna get dumb city or what? <laughs> Big dude. Oh shit, boy. Okay, so if we're gonna join this dump, we're gonna wait for the bounce. Consolidation and then get in on the next leg. Or is it just some overshoot on our trend? Or was this our previous trend line? Hold up. Oh, yeah, wow. It literally hit the previous trend line. <laughs> Look at that. It looks like we are going to be bullish. We'll see after this candle. But, uh, might be ripping up here, boys. 18k, maybe. Unless this is our short entry and we're going to break through the uptrend, but looking awfully bullish. I think we might have a bullish day on our hands. What, 15 point? 15? It's 30 points right there. Five cons, 30 points. Let's bust out the calculator. Let's see what kind of kind of move we need to pass. We need what, 3K? Five cons is $25 a tick. So 120 times 25. Yeah, so we need, we need 120 ticks with five cons. So basically 30 points. <clears throat> so if we get in short in those double bottoms, we pass. This does not look like it's gonna it's gonna come back down. This looks like we're going on a bull run. Which is going to be very unfortunate for Apex accounts. I think we're just gonna wait. 
wait to see if we catch a dump. Look for a dump setup. I'll try to catch that and just pass one, two, three. I really want to mess around with lungs. But if this is indeed the shift from the bear market, then we may not have a choice. But during a shift, I know we saw it yesterday, the super hard um super hard chop. Just trying to pump and then dumped. Might just be up for today. Some levels for today. Trading view. Okay, let's see. Yeah, eighteen hundred is a nice level. Okay, in one minute, let's see. Let's see what this next uh, next fifteen minute does. Perhaps we could take the shorts, which would be ideal. Wait, Kevin Birds, what are you talking about, Nick Kay? Yeah, we've also found there overnight hundreds Nick Kay rip through. Ah, shit, Bitcoin's getting bullish, too. I'm really wondering if we're ending the... Cap index, ah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what to do either. It seems like we are going to continue the bear market, though, so we... It seems that way, but... That's just fucking... It's getting a little messy. Where's my Viva? Oh right, because this is this is Apex. Now I'm Viva bands. Yeah. I think this is it. Look at that, we could have passed right there. <laughs> Let's make VWAP white. Okay. Look at that. We might actually be bearish on the day. We just got to look for a short entry. Assuming we break through here and don't just bounce off of VWAP. Unless the fake out, like what happened. We're over here. So when I saw this, I thought for sure we're going off the cliff. And then boom, sure enough, bull train runs up. <clears throat> Make me think longs might actually be the move and it's, this is just a fake out. 
Yeah, it could be a chop day today. Could go for five con. Ten point scalps. Off key levels. It's trying so hard to be bullish. I think the Bulls are going to win this one. Could try the longs for the pump to 68. I'm still leaning towards the short side, though. Forty seconds left. See if this wicks. If it does wick, I think we just have to take longs, even though I want to take shorts. Dude, <laughs> they're sticky. You took those trend line trades. <laughs> Uh, we should have done that as well. Look at that trend line holding up so strong. Ooh, can I test it today? Ooh. Yeah, let me know how that works out. I don't like how the candles paint on trading view, but maybe that is because it's not I haven't been using a CQG data feed, so. Twenty points is twenty points. Two cons is still good money, my boy. <clears throat> These wicks are looking so bullish, but price action still seems a little bit bearish. We dumped, pumped up to resistance, dumped again, pumped back up to resistance again, dumped again. If we're going to dump, then we should break through this trend line next, but that's if we're going to dump. I really think we are going to. I guess we don't have to go heavy. We could, we could go light because this is a sketchy, sketchy trade. No clear direction. Seems to be a little bit of a bear flag here, too. Some big old wicks. Still, the trend is bullish. For now. Just for now. Might do one of those. Do, 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 do. And it stops right around here. Can't push up. Beam. Cliff dive to the bo to the bottom.
BQD's on Treadway, you know? I feel like Treadway uses Rhythmic. Let's see, we might break through here. Boom. Maybe just a VWAP though. 893 looks juicy though. That's that's a strong support right there. To 890-ish. This is looking hella bearish on the 15 minute. There we go, there's the break. Can it just be VWAP? Or is it going to be a fucking cliff? Really seeming like it's going to be a cliff. Make me harder. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's see what happens around 893. Golly, I hope we're going straight to the lows. We might take our entry here on shorts after this little pop-up. We need like 22-ish. If it wicks this 15 minute again, with nine minutes left on there, oh, this is this is so bearish that I think we are gonna go off the cliff. If we're gonna go off a cliff, that means we gotta break the lows, make a nice, nice giant candle on the uh, the daily, giant red dildo. This is that reversal line right here. It's bouncing off of it. It's that same level that started this bull run. Okay, we're tapping it real nice. 893 coming up. Already passed by. Oh my god. Look at that. <clears throat> we're going to get stuck in some consolidation here, aren't we? So we're just going to wait for the consolidation entry. Boom. For the next leg down. Hopefully we pass. Nice. See Bitcoin? Bitcoin still not dumping that hard, huh? Oh, this is another pivot point. Got a lot of buys coming in. I don't want a knife catch though. Or is this the manipulation before the next push up? Chi. Cliff and Clit, they're both good. 
Oof. Rest in peace, make hell. Fucking hate those wicks. They happened to me yesterday with my top step XFAs. I had three of them. I got wicked out on one of them, one blue, and the other two went on to make like twenty five hundred dollars profit each. Bullshit. Shit. I wonder if this was just a little dump before the fucking massive pump. Our bear market might be over. I don't think so though. Let's let's wait for this consolidation. Then for the next leg down, we'll take it. Why are these big boys going long so heavy? We've seen some vicious clips the past few days. I wonder if this is another one. Or if this is indeed just a little trap before we're blast off to finish off the bear markets. God, I want a knife catch for some reason. We have three seconds in this candle. We might actually be hitting the longs. We're going to wait. We'll try to pick up longs for a little pump up. And then take profit and then clean it up with the next leg down. Or we sit through the consolidation and just go balls deep for the next leg down. I think that's better. Yeah, that seems less risky. It seems like just a better play overall. High probability of working out. Good to be back, black gold. 887. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so maybe these guys were just taking profits instead of actually going long. Because we've been in a bear market for so long, I feel like it's time for a bullish. You know, a bullish market, a bull market, but like one bullish day before you know continuing the bear market. Need to see if that's today or not. We're just going to slam down hard as fuck. Okay, so we broke, broke the 50% mark.
balls deep until 827. I like the sound of it. I'm waiting for the consolidation. The next leg down, but it looks like it might just be straight down, huh? Wicks don't look too promising on this five minute. We have one minute left till the next candle. I'm leaning towards longs right now for some reason. Thirty more seconds. I made a new low. Bouncing off the VWAP band. Upper VWAP band. I mean, this is holding a very fucking strong downtrend. It's not giving me a sick entry. Fumbling around a lot, too. I just, I'm just still torn between, are we in a bear, are we shifting into the bear markets? I mean, uh, bull markets, or are we sticking with the bear market? This seems, this seems like we're sticking with the bear, the bear market, but it's like, I guess I'm waiting for some sort of confirmation. Which this is kind of confirmation right here. Okay, let, let's let's take one con. Doing this. Kind of want to go heavier, but joining in like this is kind of kind of sus.
I'm going to go to the five cons to uh, 27. Let's add one more. A little bit sketchy if it just fucking wicks up on us. Is that a third one? <clears throat> Next push down, we start taking a little bit of profit. We'll sell one right there. Sell another one. I thought they would just get out. It's pretty bit lagging. What the fuck? Okay, we made a little. Okay, nice. No trailing. We're up like one sixth of the of the way. Twenty stops ran, yeah. yeah. This is vicious. I think we're in a gap fill all the way down there. But where where's like the bounce? You know what I mean? Here, okay. Now maybe we consolidate. Touch this trend line. Dump right back down, and this this is where I want to go five uh five cons. Might not even need to go five cons. Drops are so vicious that like three or four cons will even do it. Let's see if this even consolidates. I, I'm expecting like five to ten minutes, maybe fifteen minutes in consolidation here. But I wonder if we just just have this one little little green candle, and then we just dump right back down, or if we even get a green candle. I, I think we will get one green candle, so I'll be right back. Okay. I want to play this trend line. So we'll, we'll try taking, ah, uh, it's hitting this upper view up end. No way we run back up, right? We're continuing the downtrend. Apex provides market data. Yes, they do. I think you're still good for your PT, but it's going to bounce and consolidate. Assuming we don't just fucking rip back up, that would be a pretty, a pretty wild start to the to the bull market. We are shifting. Just a giant dump like this to fake everyone out and then boom, run right back up. I suspect we're still looking bearish. The next five minute and minutes, 20 seconds, so let's see what happens. A lot of buyers.
players coming in. Unless they're covering their shorts. Yeah, be patient. Uh, my boy, Mr. Sticky. I'm gonna make money. Let's go. <laughs> this, is, this is still looking super bearish. Next candle probably pop up again. We'll take our entry. And we don't even need to fill the whole gap. We could just uh we go five cons. We only need to like wire right here. Assuming we get a sick entry. Okay, here's the next five minutes. It'll pop up. Hopefully it wicks down and doesn't close up. Make me harder. Yeah, you, you could take an early entry here. I was thinking about doing it, but this is trailing drawdown, so I don't want to do it. I'm just really curious where we're shifting into the bull markets. So I'm like a little bit uh, delayed on taking shorts. I don't know if we're just going to fucking moon up for no reason. Kind of like we did over here. There was a reason there, but... Look at that. We didn't get a sick entry, but we might still be able to take this. This is just dead ass bearish. This wicks up a little bit. I'm, I'm taking these shorts. It's not going to wick up, is it? There's your 27 PT. Let's go. Fuck me. It's a big miss on my part. We're just hella bearish. That means we should break these lows, though. What are the odds we just completely gap fill right now? Okay, we're getting our little wick up. Still rather take a trend line trade, but might be the best we get. With this low here, 804. Back up to support, classic. Okay, let's take it. And I'm getting some lag here, what the? 
Do I have, I have two cons? Let's go up to three here. This is pretty nasty wick. Whoosh. At a fourth. Let's see it dump through. Hopefully we didn't just get fucking ripped here. We don't get ripped. This is indeed the bear market. Come on, give it to us. We're going for the whole thing right here. Won't it? Push it through, baby. Push it through. All the way. Push. Oh, shit. A new candle. Aye. Yes, dump it through. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. God, if this just rips up, we're going to blow our shit. What's our uh, $500 profit trailing? I think, I think we're gap closing, gap filling, so let's see. But that wick is not very cool. We'll take one off just in case. Hold the three. We're going for glory. $3,000 profit on all of our Apex accounts. Give it to me. Give it to me. No. Push, motherfucker. Push. Push it. Push it. Getting a little soft. Looking for that big rip. Big old rip. Rip skeet. Take one off just because it's getting a little soft, but we're still looking pretty good for our, our dump finisher. Huh. That was a nice PT at 27. Pretty much got that whole move. And let's see if it keeps going. 306, the biggest profit in your trading life. Let's go, my boy. Good shit. <clears throat> yeah, we probably should just bailed fully on this. Or we could add back in. This could be a nice little little pump up, though. Back up to like here ish. And what we add back in, maybe? Continue the downtrend, but if it overshoots, we fucking get wrecked. Oosh. I don't think we need to do that. I think I think we'll be able to get the 3k with these two cons. I'm damn near positive we're making a new low. Make me harder. The consolidation plan? I don't think so. I think we gotta finish up this trend. I wanna add back in, but one little pump could just fucking tick us out. We're already down what seven hundred. 
How the fuck is this 700? Oh, no, it's like 600. Golly, Kirling is such a biatch. To finish off this dope skeet. I just holding so well though. A little bit worrying. We could try adding one more. Just for scalp. Push it, push it, push it to the limit. I will take that off, I guess, because this is fucking diddling around. We consolidate sideways. That'll be fucking terrible for us. It's still holding the downtrend, so we have nothing to worry about just yet. Just yet. Suspect a reversal, huh? I feel like it needs to clean this up if it's gonna reverse, but I think we are so bearish that that we just rip through there. Plus, indeed, we do just blast into the highs and enter the bull markets. Oi, oi, oi. As long as it holds this trend, they could diddle around as much as they want. I don't want to get caught in some like like this, like I did yesterday. It's fucking blue and ripped through my stop yesterday. <laughs> Starting to seem like we could consolidate for a little bit. Resistance at 827, yeah. Yeah. This is truly bearish. We're just going to rip through there at some point today. I guess we could clear out one con just in case. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> as soon as I get rid of it, it dubs. <laughs> <laughs> or it starts, it starts making a move. Yes. <laughs> Classic. Let's see if we can be a uh, one con wonder here. Push it. We're, we're just gonna exit there. We need fifteen hundred dollars more. This wicks up again. We'll we'll re-enter with three cons. For a little little further of a push down, and then our uh, our account should be passed. Nice, our trailing is looking real good too. Okay, I kind of just want to get back in this right now. The gap fill. Ah. Yeah, fuck it. We're, we're going. Three comms. Let's finish off this gap. Super sketchy entry, but could work for the gap fill.
before we're taking it out, this decides to wick up. Should have been entering on this wick. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Oh my god. Try adding for the finisher. But I don't think we're gonna get it anymore. Just kidding, we're still gonna push it. Golly, we're fucking red as fuck so fast. No patience there. Let's see if we can finish this off. Keep the trend. Keep the trend. Ah, shit. This breaks out of this trend we're done for. We, we need to add here. For a... Oh, shit. God damn it. I fucked that up. Damn. Lost a thousand bucks. Fuck. Damn, dude. It did not finish the gap. Oh, my God. It was literally just... Six more points. Oh. Fuck me. Maybe I shouldn't have added there. <laughs> that's rough. 204. Okay, so that's the five accounts gone. Now we have six. It's testing our trend. So this would be an entry again short, which we're going to try it. For the finisher push down. Of course, it just had to fucking pop back up on the trend. Okay. Let's see if we get our finish up our gap fill here. And technically, we probably will pass these accounts if we get the gap fill. We have what? Five pounds? Okay, yeah, we're good. Let's see if we get this gap fill. We do not want to blow these accounts too, though. Getting a little sketchy. Any higher and we gotta stop out. Hubba. Come on, just a little uh, little shakedown. Complete the push down. The little overshoot. Little overshoot, not a full blown reversal, right? Golly, what if this pops back up to VWAP? Maybe plugged up. Sit and we wait. Unless it breaks any higher than this, then we're fucking out. Finish off our trend, bud. Golly, this is a bullish candle. Mad bullish, but it's probably just to hit some stops. And then we continue. Continue our drop. Making harder. Oh, this is one of those three candle, three green boy bounces, and then the cliff. Yeah. Looking awfully, awfully bullish. Let's see if it's a shakeout, though.
Da, 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 da. So one more minute. This has to wick. This has to wick pretty nicely. Otherwise, our downtrend is broken. But if the next candle opens up right back down, then, then it's just a little overshoot and we'll be okay. Fuck, man, we needed a bail on those other accounts as soon as it started wicking. Let's not worry about that right now. Let's see if we finish off our play here. Three seconds. Needs to shove down hard, otherwise our trend is broken, and we're kind of fucked. We might have to go into longs. Really starting to look like one of those three candle pops back up, but let's see. Dump her off, bud. This should be vicious if we're going to continue our downtrend. Push it to the limit. Push it, push it, push it. Push it to the limit. Push it to the limit. Push it, push it, push it to the limit. Push it, push it, push it to the limit. It's so bogus if it just does this and rips right back up for a trailing drawdown. But I don't want to get rid of any anything because it should really gap fill down there. For a full gap fill. It looks like we might just rip these accounts as well. Shit. Don't want to lose these. Gonna make a new high, isn't it? The downtrend is pretty much broken. Actually, we said three more minutes. It could still. Complete the downtrend. Make me harder. Finish off that clip. It is really starting to seem like it's reversal time, though. Maybe we don't get our full move, but we can get, at least get some of it. Still two more minutes. Let's get the full move. If this gets mega bearish, then we're looking good for our trend to continue. It makes me want to peel off some, but I want to just fucking pass these accounts, and this seems like a decent move. This is actually the trade I was waiting for on other accounts. Took this the other day as well. Worked out really nicely. 
but will it work out again? Forty seconds. This really has to get bearish, otherwise we're toast. This next candle is gonna be way out of our uh, out of our trend. Needs to rip down. Right back in the trend, so our next candle can open up inside of it. Tapping support. Okay, we'll take one off. Fuck, there's our there's that next candle. Get back in there. It's getting a little too sus, so I'm gonna start peeling off some. Our downtrend is pretty much broken. This is gonna be much harder than uh than I thought it was gonna be. That's the very much something to look into, silver bullet. Seven eighty eight. Yeah, I suspect we're gonna still gap though, but consolidate sideways for a little bit, maybe. Obviously, I'm hoping he just fucking dumps off a cliff right here with this one con that I'm holding, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. Is it? The cliff came back up, tapped resistance, boom, tap support. Finish her off, bud. I want to add for this, but like what just happened with that wick? That that was the worst timing possible. Very, very unfortunate. Look me harder. Finish it off. Back in the downtrend, looking good. Do I want to add in the same spot that fucking erect us last time? I don't think so, <laughs> even though I really want to. Now we might be able to gap fill all the way down here. That's the 30 points we need. Let, let's, let's just add up to three here. Let's see if we can finish off. This uh, this gap fill. Push it, push it, push it to the limit. We're gonna get wrecked in the same same spot. <laughs> That'd be so shitty. <laughs> Minus 800 on our fucking uh, trailing. That's crazy. Let's 
Man, this is hard resistance. Fuck, maybe might be consolidating. Just have 20 seconds left. This could still rip low. Finish her off. Trend is looking real shaky though. But it's still strong. Let's go. Push it, push it. Look at all these wicks though. This is starting to get bullish. Just a tad bit bluish. Just a smidgen, but that means that it could just fucking drop and trap all these bulls. Checking support again. Send her off the clip. It's only that trend. I'd like to add, but A little risky. I already blew those other accounts. Seems like a pretty high probability play here though if we do add. Should add one more to the finisher. On finisher off the clip. <laughs> the most entertaining trader on the tube. Thank you, brother. <laughs> it's gonna pop, dude. You think it, it semi looks like it, but it looks like it's gonna fucking finish off this gap fill or gap. Uh, yeah, close this gap, and then possibly pop up, but I think we might just be dumping off a fucking cliff. It very well could pop up to, like, VWAP. Right, if this trend breaks, we're just going to get out. We're going to be a little, a little plugged on our trailing drawdown, but we'll be okay. Let's see you down, pop a clip, clip, clip. Doesn't look like it's gonna jump off a clip, clip, clip. Dump it harder. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We literally just need like where right here, like ninety ish. One nice clip dive. Mm 
some little nice no dab. So 40 seconds in this candle. Da -da 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 -da. Could lighten the load. That's what I'll probably normally do right now, but I think this is going to happen. I just want to pass these motherfucking Apex accounts. <clears throat> They're actually incredibly hard to pass. I guess because I trade so heavy, but still. Last account we went minus what like nine hundred dollars in the blue. Oh shit, this might pop hard as fuck right here. We're dump hard as fuck. It's gonna be either one of those. This is like a decisive, uh, decisive spot here. Get the drop preferably. Let's go. Off the cliff, off the off the cliff, cliff. Need what two more grand? I think it's much easier just to fucking YOLO the bell with these Apex accounts. But then if you can't then what are you gonna do when you have PA accounts? So just blow those two. Just gotta learn how to trade with this uh this trailing. Which will probably just be scalping, but Looks like it might just fucking rock it up. If they don't get those dumps soon, I'm gonna start scaling out. I might just have to get out completely. This this is probably gonna pop. Or is that what they want you to think? Dum dum dum. Now this is gonna pop up. Yeah, fuck me. Shit, eleven hundred. That sucks. Where are we going back up to? A uh, VWAP ish? Nice and slow. Or is this just overshoot on our new trend line? Nah, this, this is getting bullish. Looks like a curl. Oop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we might get a pump in. Fucking annoying. Yeah, we're at eleven hundred dollars till blown. This trailing, even though we're minus sixteen dollars total on my account. The worst. Could still be overshoot for us to dump dump it the rest of the way. But we might have to get above what 73 and then we dump it down. Or we truly are joining the bull market. And we're just going to slow creep up all day.
Counts tab. Really? This is the survey. Drawdown net lick. I don't know. It's the daily loss limit. No. Just to lick only. No, I guess that kind of works. It's a DD net lick. It's the daily. Draw down that look. No, that, that one doesn't work. Draw down auto. Uh, uh, it's that last one, the auto lick level. Mm -hmm. Gotta do those good stuff. Thank you for that. So we have what, like nine hundred dollars? Wait, what? No, that's not right. This is 1100. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, on these accounts. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, because we blew those. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. It's 4800. Fuck, I wanted to take that short, too. Maybe it'll pop up there, though. Fuck me, now we're now we're gonna gap fill. Ugh. We're just gonna bounce again. This zone just fucked me so hard. And eleven accounts. Just needed that bad boy right there. We probably would have passed. That's what yeah, that's like about thirty points. Just need the five cons in there. Last time this happened was earlier, and it slowly crept back up, but now nah, at least I would dump it all. Pew! Fuck, man, that's exactly what we needed. Since the drawdown, net lick. Yeah, I would have passed my account too. <laughs> but that's what that's what we were looking for. When we fucking had a little uh, little bull train ran on us right before. What what are the odds that we get a get a lick bounce here? I do not want to go in longs. We just missed our short play. It's going to keep pushing, though? It very well could, but we're so close. Yeah, look at that. There's the low of the day. Probably push even further. After a little bounce. Yeah, long as long as they're just a bad idea in this market. <laughs> I mean, look at this. You you enter you enter longs like halfway up here, boom, this fucking dumps on you, doo -doo -doo, boom, dumps on you, pumps. What could this plunge to though? I, I don't even have any levels here. Seven twenty six. Do we chase the shorts? Fuck me, man. We just had to get out of get out of our shorts a little earlier. 
I thought this is what's gonna happen, but of course I had to pop up a little higher before, <laughs> before it happens. All right, we're gonna take the risk. We're gonna see if we could uh, if we can get in these shorts. But yesterday, when it cleared the bottom, it fucking mooned so hard. Where right here, yeah, it swept that bottom just a little bit. Fucking giant god green dildo. So I wonder if something similar will happen today. I really don't want to get in longs, but a god dildo like that is coming. Fuck me. Look at this. Get back in shorts, maybe. Ah, yeah, yeah. This one should get sketchy. Before, like, we kind of knew it was going to gap fill. Now it's just like, okay, what's it going to do? Now it could even pop all the way back up to here before it dumps further. Fuck. Missed many great opportunities today. Is this just going to god dildo up? No way, right? I kind of think it might. I might take the risk here. Golly, that was so bearish. But, I mean, yesterday, history tends to repeat itself. And it swept the low just a little bit. Okay, let, let's take let's take one con long. Let's see if we get our god dildo back up. If this doesn't, like, fucking massive dildo, then, uh... I mean, we're just we're just done for pretty much. We were just thinking no the lungs. <laughs> like give me the goddamn no. I wanna add a second one. Make it worth it. Okay, if I get it over in. But let's see if this fucking rockets. If it doesn't rock it, we'll just bail. Let's see if history will repeat itself from yesterday. Do -do -do -do. Me had it. Tapping resistance. God do do all the way up. Normally this is where I would take profit, but I'm looking for that god dildo. I want it. Actually we'll we'll sell one just in case because we are a little close to drawdown. <clears throat> Is this gonna god build though? That'd be so funny. Literally just a repeat of yesterday. Long again. Yeah, let's send it. Let's let's see if this if this fucking really does just fucking completely recover. I'd still rather be in shorts, but after yesterday, I mean I notice what happens like in one week it tends to happen multiple times throughout the week. <laughs> So let's see. Na, 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 na. I might just take profit here because of our daily daily drawdown. It's slowly getting repaired and a nice the god dildo yesterday was much better much much faster but i mean this is pretty quick so i guess maybe we will get the god dildo maybe this is more looking like a lick bounce go back into shorts than what we saw yesterday how did that actually look I uh, just had one one green wick and then boom, massive fucking pump. That was also during London. New York should be a lot faster. 
Yeah, it's fucking around too much, so we'll we'll get out for that. Got back some profit. I would like to get back in shorts. So this could be bounce back up to 820-ish and then nasty dumb. This is what I'm looking for. Just boom. One candle, boom, finish our accounts. We'll have to go heavy and we don't have the lick for it anymore. I guess we do. 1500 is a decent amount. This is a trend tap right here again. But let's let's try the shorts. See if we can get a get the dump. Double bottom or something. Shit, if we go five cons, this is enough to uh to pass us. It's gonna overshoot the trend. This is still our old trend. Fuck it. Let let's see if we if we double bottom here. It'll be enough for us to pass, so we're going for it. Okay, we're in full. Oh no, we're we're gonna get fucking ripped, aren't we? Yeah. Broke the friend line. We're very, very close to getting auto licked. Uh oh, done for. Oh, almost. Done for, done for, fuck. Look at that god dildo. It literally just did exactly what it did yesterday. <laughs> Watch this fucking Omega shoot up, though, like to VWAP or something. Ah, fuck, man. We we had this plan, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to hold the trend. Look at this god dildo. <laughs> fuck, man. This is exactly what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. That was, that was silly. Oh, there's 11 Apex accounts blown. Do I still want to do Apex accounts? Like, think about it. If, even if we do get PAs, just getting past that daily drawdown is, like, one of the hardest fucking things possible. Like, how the fuck? I'll go fuck bears? Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, th this is the same thing as yesterday. This is probably going to god dildo. They still sub three minutes left. Boom, boom, boom. Blast up to fucking VWAP. Your style is good for trailing? Nah. I fucking hate trailing, dude. <laughs> I hate it so much. Yeah, these accounts are ripped, though. Oh, we still have MFFU. But we're in a loss, golly. But we could easily get out of this if this god candle is gonna continue. Yeah, MFFU is good. I like them a lot. Accounts are semi cheap too. This is MFFU right here. I have top step and I have MFFU. Um, I blew my, <laughs> I blew my uh, my trade day, leaving a limit order. Um, that got filled, and I ended up making twenty dollars profit on the limit order. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, they they closed my account. I also I also blew a few other evaluations with them, and then I was just like, all right, fuck it, ten days. Fucking brutal. Scaling sucks, though. Yeah, I, I only do expert accounts with MFFU. But if this is going to god dildo back up to VWAP like it did yesterday, we could do one con here. But we're going to send it. Kind of shitty entry, but this this anomaly doesn't happen often, so I want to catch it. I only use expert accounts with MFFU. Like I made, so they gave me my two. They gave me two funded accounts, even though I passed three. The third one came like a like a while later, 
So in the meantime, I made 10 G's on these MFFU funded accounts yesterday. And, uh, you know, I could have took a 6K payout. But instead, I went full D-Gen and fucking blew them instead. Like a fucking tard. But, uh, yeah, like, literally, like, you make 10 Gs in a day, you're withdrawing, what, 6 Gs? It's pretty good. With Apex. God, I've blown so many Apex accounts. I've had a few funded in the past. Never got a payout. Like, is it even worth the trouble? Is what I'm trying to... It is worth the trouble, because if you make $200 a day, holy fuck, you make... Good money. But uh, why is this not God dildoing? I mean, this, this is still a good pump. Now this might be a fucking nasty dump. Let's see. Full blown reversal. Or back to the dumps. Ah, it looks like it's gonna dump, dump. Finding support. We're gonna bail if it hits right around there. Maybe earlier. Let's see. I didn't realize there was so little time left in that candle. I thought it was fucking bull train. Cool drinks could still come this candle, but looking a little bearish. I think I'm gonna add a second one for this VWAP touch play. But if it taps that, okay, yeah, we're out. Fuck me. 0.618 percent retracement. 385 on 20 PA accounts. God damn, that's see nice, dude. <laughs> that's a good shit. It's tapping support again. This this would be our re-entry if we're bullish, but we're not bullish. He didn't get the god candle. He's got a semi decent fucking lick lick bounce. That was 80 points. Wow. With our PAs, three cons right there, boom, done. Yeah, yeah, no, I like MFFU a lot. I've had many funded accounts with them. <laughs> I've had, what, six G, two 6G payouts, like, closed and ready to take out, and I just didn't take them. I just kept on trading that day. So stupid. Yesterday, if I had my third MFFU account, I would have had a what 9G payout because I made I made like 5600 on each account. You could withdraw anything over what two Gs, 2100. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna blow these accounts though, unfortunately. And the last hope would be for a sick play, but I have to have like little to no drawdown. Might just be toast on these. I wouldn't mind just getting some new ones. But let's see. Let's see if we can revive these super fast. Scaling. Yeah. Yeah, I'm already out. It's kind of Really deep in drawdowns. <laughs> like, what, what am I gonna do with two hundred fifty dollars of drawdown? I have to have a perfect entry. And I like to play with size. I don't want to just do one con. I always pass my MFFU accounts with three cons. Three to five. Spin the roulette. Yeah. I mean, I would think I would think longs here for the wick back up. I mean, we have 50 seconds left. Could just try it. Fuck it. Let's see. 
But let's let's just go balls deep to see if let's see if it uh if it just wicks back up. And we end up making nope, done. <laughs> done for. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reset these accounts really quick. I don't know if I'm gonna do more Apex. I just if I can't get funded on them, then the PAs, what are like I mean the two hundred dollars a day, that's doable. With micros, I guess I guess I could actually do much better if I didn't go so aggressive. But the trailing drawdowns are such a bitch. I don't know if I want to. Damn, 40, 40 accounts, two hundred bucks a day, forty G's every ten days. I mean, it's totally doable. Totally doable. But then it's what three hundred something dollars for ten accounts, plus another thousand dollars just to get them funded. Like the odds are just so stacked against you. It's it's fucking hard, really hard. But we're gonna we're gonna trade some more MFFU accounts. Hopefully pass them today. We'll go hard, try to catch a dump ski. Make me harder. By the way, use code DGT at checkout for MFFU for max discounts. They say that if enough people use my code, then I will be able to give away accounts for free as well. So use code DGT at checkout on your MFFU accounts for max discount. Right now on starter accounts, I think they're like 50 bucks. Plus discount activation. I think it's another 50 bucks for the uh, the 50Ks. And then for expert accounts, I think it's like 5 or 15% off the, to buy it. And uh, the reset is like, uh, is a bit higher. I think it's 5% off the expert accounts, brand new. And I think it's 15% off reset. I'm going to check it right now, actually. I am doing a reset. Yeah, it's 15% off resets right now. And it's 5% off a brand new account. Code DGT at checkout, boys. Do it, and I'll start giving away three accounts. Yeah, yeah, once you get past the trailing is the problem. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're in the disco they're in the Discord group under the uh, the discount links tab. It's just DGT across all platforms, Trade Day, MFFU, um, Apex. Apex also says they'll give me free accounts. Top stuff didn't say they'd give me free accounts for some reason, but that's okay. Trade Day also said they'll give me free accounts. I might actually start trade day again. I'm just so salty they closed my account after I left a limit order. Obviously, you're not supposed to do it, but I'm just so salty about it. <laughs> like, every other prop would have just uh, just closed out the trade, and the trade made $20 profit, which surprisingly, because that was a crazy day. But uh, every other prop would have just fucking... Uh, just close the trade and, you know, called it a day, but trade day fails you. Which makes sense, because really you should get in the habit of spamming this, uh, this, like, oh, this exit market button. Or exit and cancel all button, you should always press that before, uh, before the end of the day. But, yeah, that sucks that I got failed because of that. 
Like if you do that in a live account, then uh, Trade of Aegis charges you a knockout liquidation fee. But they'll just close your accounts on trade day, which is just kind of brutal. But they are a badass company, and they do have badass payout rules. And I did have a $3,500 payout lined up. No, I had a $3,000 payout lined up that I didn't take. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I keep on getting these payouts lined up. I just don't take them. I'm just being so stupid. And, like, like in my head, I know, like, just fucking take the payouts. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm just not doing it. And even yesterday, I didn't do it. So, I mean, that's something I just fucking really got to start doing. Like, anything over 3Gs, I'm happy. I won't take, like, a $700 payout because I just don't want to. I don't think it's worth it, especially with MFFU because uh, it gets rid of your trailing, right? And uh, and uh, you got to wait 14 days after your first payout. Pity they do so much on expert accounts. Yeah, I mean... The expert accounts have like the sickest rules, so so I see why they're priced like that. But there's no activation, so as long as you pass, it's cool. But I failed what those accounts earlier. I think I failed some last night too after I blew those funded accounts that I had 10k profit in. <clears throat> I bought a I bought some more and I fucking blew those. Fucking pissed. So we're we're gonna we're gonna look for a decent trade. Try to pass this today, which means we're going to be trading heavy, so we need a 6 setup. Which is not really looking like anything good right now, besides the short push down, but I might see consolidation for a hot minute. It looks like we are going to push further down, though. Right to the 22, 726 level ish, so like somewhere down here. Which futures prop do I recommend for payouts and longevity? Trade day, probably, but if you want to copy trade, then MFFU. But if you're going for longevity, and like you have those days where like you just fucking burn an account for no fucking reason, like I do sometimes. Um, then top step because the daily loss will stop you from blowing your accounts. Trade day and MFFU will not stop you from blowing your accounts in one day. Even if you're up 20 G's in the account, you can fucking burn it all in one day just being an idiot. Which I pretty much did yesterday. <laughs> I had 10 G's and I fucking just burned it. Actually, 11 G's technically. So it's 5,600. This was such a nice dump. We did think that it was going to dump. Dude, no, we, we were thinking it was going to hit 1,800. Now we're a long way from 1,800. <laughs> but gotta love the bear market, dude. Gotta love it. Bro, don't know about Lux Algo? Yeah, I have Lux Algo. I have them on my... Uh... Look at this. Lux Algo right here. Lux Algo is right here. This one, Reversal Signals. What else do I have? Lux Algo Watson Smoothers. Oh, yeah, even the Supply and Demand Visible Range. Lux Algo. Yeah, I love like, Lux Algo a lot. It's some badass indicators. Set the setting to 22. Use signals. Which one? Regular signals and overlays? Dude, that's a good fucking play, dude. 445 times 20. How much money did SC just make? Times 20. Dude, that's a 9G day, my boy. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice.
point move. Is that what we had yesterday too? Oh, it was only like a 50 point move. Wow. So it pretty much did do something similar to yesterday, just not continuing to uptrend. Okay, do we double bottom here? I don't think so. I think we're just dumping right through. Oh, boys. What's the thing looking like? The daily's looking real bearish. Not like the dailies before it. it. Says that we have another like 200 points to drop. But yes, we are still in a bear market. Woo! Bear market's my favorite, to be honest. So I'm happy. That means I didn't miss out on my bunk either. Oh, Bitcoin, 61K. This is a nice place for a double bottom. On Bitcoin, but I'm looking for like 57k bonk around eight cents to just go fucking 35 G's deep into it <clears throat> for 10x. Trying to make 300k on this. this yeah, it's just right at the bottom again. I'm looking for it to hit like eight cents ish. Yeah, so it needs to add another zero. That would be ideal. There, oh yeah, someone asked why I'm I'm going into bonk out of everything. <laughs> because I'm bullish on Solana. Bonk is their number one meme coin. Meme coins run like fucking 10, 20, 50 X. And uh, that means if Solana 10 X's, Bonk will like fucking 100 X. Which I think Solana will 10x. I'm super bullish on it. So I'm just looking for max gains with, you know, a decent chunk of money. Like 30 G's could turn into 300 G's. You know what I mean? Like, like that's just like wild and well worth the wait. Like I'll wait six months, a year for that 300 G's. Looks like we might be dumping through here in a sec, eh? Oh, okay. Go to Lux Algo Signals and Overlays. Turn face that's okay. Let's see this. I'm down for a new indicator. So Signals and Overlays. Let's see, that's the name, huh? Let's see, reversal signals. Ah, signals and overlays. Yeah, this wasn't shown. Ah, it's invite only. I had to contact the author. So I need to pay to use it, I believe. Base 22 is sensitivity and turn off on all other things. Use NQ. It's kind of plus 22 sensitivity. Three or five minute chart watch. Is that good? Yeah, is that worth it? I'll, I'll buy it. I'm down for it. Do you like me some good signals? Pay attention to TL. It's on its way to become the first digital bank with official stable coins. Ooh. Tell? One of my my best friend ever, actually, um, is obsessed with Tell, tell you're on the stock. <laughs> I remember back in the day when they got some good news. I caught a caught a long pump on it. Made like seven Gs with options. Those were the good old days. Just phone trading on Weeble and stuff. <laughs> Just making like seven Gs. 
$47 a month and it changed her trading. Uh, I'll buy it. I'm down. I'm down for it. Someone someone drop a referral code or drop me your referral code for uh, for Lux Algo. I'll buy it under there. It really looks like we're in a dump through. We dump through. We could dump 100, 100 plus points. It's gonna be anything like uh, what last week, yeah, Friday and Monday. Or is this just the double bottom? Tapping resistance super hard. Can't break through. Might be our short entry. Mm. I think I missed it. Don't want to get in halfway because this is the bottom. I think we do break this bottom, huh? Pretty high chance. Telcoin. I'm gonna look at Telcoin. I was thinking, there's this uh this pre-launch. Look at this. Look at this meme coin. <laughs> Not cool. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about getting this. It's a, it's coming on pre-sale today. I mean, it's just such a fucking meme coin. I, I think it's stupid to actually buy it, but uh, I was thinking about putting like a thousand dollars in there just because it's on Soul. But uh, I mean, it's just one developer, Mr. Robotnik, like, it's just like Sonic, Sonic meme coin, <laughs> Knuckles. It's Knuckles X Y Z. The pre-sale is uh, is today, I believe. Where is it? By the way, this is not financial advice. Do not buy this shit. <laughs> Unless you're okay with losing all of it. But yeah, check it out. I mean, all they have is really one YouTuber. And uh, yeah, it's in five hours. I was thinking about just putting in like like 1K or something. Saying fuck it. See what that 1K does. I've, ha I've had those days where... Uh, or I've had those... <laughs> Those plays where I remember I had three thousand dollars, and I either did one k in three different coins or I did fifteen hundred and two. One I got fucking ripped on, and the other one I made like nine g's. So I'm like, oh fuck! And then I took that nine g's, turned that into like forty seven g's, and then like that's when like my crypto crypto journey really take took off. I made like a few hundred g's in a in a few months. Got you trade the range. I'm gonna check that out. Lux Algo signals. But what hold on? What are the Lux Algo signals saying right now? Are they saying to short this or are they saying to, to dump this? <laughs> I mean uh pump this. Cause I still think we're dumping through the bottom. <clears throat> After a brief pop up. I think we go all the way down. I might, I'm just going to take it right here, too, because I don't want to miss this dump. This seems like the shakeout play right here. Looking for the clip. Short in the bottom, boys. Possibly for a scalp, but I think it might rip through. Make me harder. I'm just gonna fuck around a little more here.
I think we're going through. Double bottom possible too. Whatever, we'll, we'll just do a break even trade here. If it comes back up, it comes back up. If it dumps off a cliff, then I'm happy. Also could take profit right here. We're, we're in a trail this stop just in case. It would need to be a vicious dump through. Looks like it might be a double bottom. Preferably not dump it through, motherfucker. If this bounces though, we're out. So, we're, we're, yeah, okay. Push it. Push it. Push it to the limit. Push it. Push it. Off the fucking cliff. Man, four cons, we would've been done. <laughs> We'll see if it keeps going. We'll just keep trailing or stop. They might come bounce back up to here, though. So we want to be a little bit above. That's a thousand dollars right there, though. That's pretty good for one fucking con. Y'all me. See, it's going to keep pushing. Make me hotter. Both on my five and some short for control. Usually get an exit signal to get out, not exit yet. The shorts are leading. Give them a golden trick. And Q moves in 15, 30, 60 dollar increments. Stop loss always $30 short, 120 picks. And two pullbacks, 90% are only a pullback. $15, nothing more. Give me a stop loss over $30. Zero nine two. Hmm. I like the sound of that. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, Horology, and I'm gonna fucking buy a shitload of bonk. <laughs> My boy Trade the Range knows what's up, though. Everyone should be taking notes right there. And then call him and fucking pay him for more data. <laughs> Nobody should do anything for free. Making it hard. So I want to go heavier, but I fucking blew those accounts earlier, and I'm kind of pissed. So I don't think I think we're just gonna one con this to pass. See, see as far as we can get today. Like we don't even have to pass today. That's one mistake I always make is try to pass in one day. <laughs> Same with Apex, when we were up like 1500 bucks or whatever. Could have just traded it again tomorrow and finished. <laughs> Pass. Let's see if it's even possible. So 400 takes 100 points times 5. We'd have to drop 200 points. Doing good, thanks brother. Take it easy and stay beautiful. Message me on Discord too, dude. I want to talk to you about something. DGT is the MFFU discount code for max discount at all times. Right now, for starter accounts, they're like $50, I believe, for 50Ks with the discount code DGT. And then Expert is only like 5% off, but then the resets are 15% off if you do end up blowing them. Like I just did today, <laughs> which does happen. So then you blow accounts. Not working for the experts. That's weird. Correct full caps. It should only be five percent for expert. Do -do -do -do. My funded futures, yeah. 
Got my funded futures dot com. These guys. Nope. Don't need to see my credentials. Thing about the L2 base chain. I uh, never even heard of it actually. I, I haven't been that deep in crypto. I'm just getting back into it. And if it's not working, geez, let me message them. Make me DGT, right? Three letters, DGT. Make me This is gonna keep dumping? If it doesn't, I'm just gonna fucking get out. No, DGT. Damn good trading. So DGT. That's DTG. DGT. Damn good trading. Yeah. Yeah, try that. See if it works. Base chain on L2 is part of E. Ooh. Sounds fancy. I'll be down for that. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, if you guys are going to use my funded futures, use code DGT at checkout, and they will start giving me free accounts to hand out to you guys, raffle style. <clears throat> or maybe <laughs> just because I blow a lot of accounts, so I know it sucks. Um, if I see someone that blew an exceptional amount of uh, of accounts, maybe I'll just give them the accounts because. And I'll give them a free account because <laughs> blowing accounts sucks. It does get expensive. Hell yeah, Carl, my boy. Appreciate you guys using that code. And I'm going to give back to you guys as much as possible. A few, yeah. You getting the expert accounts or are you getting the uh, the starter accounts? The starter accounts are good if, if you just want to chill and, you know, keep those accounts for like 30 to 90 days or 60 days as capped payouts, I believe. But if you want to go fucking balls to the wall like I do and get like a 10G payout in like one day, which is very hard, like, I haven't gotten a payout from MFFU, I don't think ever, actually. I've had them lined up, I just never took them. But uh, expert is the way you want to go if you want to go for, like, fucking massive payouts right away. Starter is, um, starter is better for, uh, like, you just want, like, little consistent gains. Which are, which are very good, too. Probably be much more profitable if I just went with steady little gains, to be honest. But, uh, my home run hitters are my favorites, so I'm going to keep doing those. That's that's the only way I got profitable anyways, just by fucking max conning fucking dumps like this and holding through the whole dump. Just lost two, yeah. Yeah, I, I lost some accounts today too, so don't, don't feel bad. <laughs> today is fucking garbage. I'm still salty that I blew all of my Apex accounts right here. <laughs> Literally this little zone. <sighs> and then I missed that dump. Just needed to be a little more patient. We knew that dump was coming. We just uh, had bad positioning, too heavy. Very unfortunate. I've been such a B gen lady, pull it back and take it slow. Smart, dude, smart. Yeah. I mean, being a D gen is, is, only, uh, is only good when it's working. <laughs> when it's not working, being a D gen sucks. <laughs> It's good to take a little breather. We might get a little pump up here. I might get stopped out here, which is which is fine, but hopefully it just keeps dumping. Four cons though, and we would have passed fucking in five minutes or ten minutes. I 
I lost I lost my uh, my evals today. Yesterday I lost my funded accounts. Um, I was up 11 G's on them. <laughs> I burned it all in one day, like a fucking tard. <laughs> it was just classic over trading. I actually burned the 11 G's on the MFFU accounts. I had two of them. They made 5k each. I lost all of it, and then I made 5,600 back, and then I burned it all again and uh, hit max loss and lost the accounts. Fucking idiot, dude. Complete idiot. I was a little on tilt, though, because um, my XFAs, I was balls deep in shorts, right? And I get top ticked on one account, one of my XFAs, that I was copy trading. You know, I copy traded them all together, always. On one of my XFAs, they just get blown, and then it drops, and I make, like, two Gs profit, like, $2,500 profit. And I literally, yeah, I just lost one account. So I was already on fucking tilt after that. And then, uh, and then that carried on to just being a dumbass and overtrading. Oh, 100 cons, fucking pivot degen style. <laughs> this is a full set, 100 cons. Yeah. Yeah, MFFU. As soon as I stop being a retard, they're gonna give me a live account. You gotta make twenty five k profit. And they said they'll move me to live. Um, and they'll give me uh, you know, as many lot allowance as I want, or as as much as uh, I have profit in the account. So uh. No, it looks like we're gonna get stuck up. So, um, I like the sound of that. So, instead of copy trading, just have one account with 15 lots. Let's say if you want to go five cons per per uh, per accounts, or yeah, fucking eventually just do 100 fucking lots. <laughs> one trade. Golly, imagine just catching the top right here with 100 lots. That's that's like an easy fucking milli or something, like half a mil probably. Not easy, I mean you're probably shitting your pants half the time, but uh I mean a bear market is typically you know, when when the market has been bearish for a while and we know we're in a bear market, you can typically tell what's gonna happen. Today we were confused because of that pump. But we're in a bear market still. I mean, obviously, we, we dumped off a fucking cliff. Just as expected. In a bear market. In a bull market, I don't know if I'd go 100 cons. Yeah, I would. Definitely would. Some, some of these bull markets are fucking vicious. But if we want to pass these accounts today, like fucking degens, we gotta add... This looks like this might be the second let... The, the pop before the fucking next leg down. I kind of want to add a second con. But how high is this going to pop? If we get stopped out, then we can just look for a new trade. What are you looking like over here? Oh, we hit that 226. Oh, wow, that's exactly what we were looking for earlier. <laughs> Look at that. And we're bouncing. This is supposed to be a pretty key level, so I wonder if we do break through it. That's so funny. I literally it stopped at exactly 226. Like pivot points, man. Sometimes they're fucking... Oh, we got stopped out. Sometimes they're fucking dead on. I'll be right back though. I'm gonna go to the bathroom.
Oh. Are we gonna get another leg down or what? I don't think longs are the move. Still. What type of bounce are we gonna get though? And what time is it? Almost lunch. This is a round of reversal o'clock. But we're in a bear market, so how much can it pump? I still think we take the shorts, but let's let's look for a sick entry. But we need three thousand dollars more to pass these accounts. What the? Bape is up sixteen grand in one trade. Top. What, what account is that, dude? In the Discord. Me, honey. My signals are saying that this is the bottom, but I don't think so. Maybe it is. I want to see a dramatic finish, though, if we're going to go in longs. Yeah, Eric officially started using a stop loss. <laughs> Most of the time, they use a stop loss. Actually, pretty much all the time now. It's just annoying to set sometimes. I, I miss quant power for that, man. You literally just drag it off your entry. Like, why can't trade a bait do something like that? Like, that's actually like just like such a sick, uh, sick feature. Like, whatever your entry is, you just whoop, drag, take profit, drag, take or stop loss. Boom, boom. It's all set. Yeah, using a stop loss is a pretty good idea. I've taken way too many dramatic losses because I freeze up when deep in profit or just in general. Just freeze up, I can't I can't take the loss. And then it just fucking rips my shit. <laughs> Trying to avoid that at all costs. It's because if you're not losing, I mean if you're not learning from your losses then you're just being you're just losing money <laughs> is this going to be the last little drop here before it starts to pop up it's reversal clock signals are saying the ending I, but we're so bearish that i don't think that this is the end indeed Bitcoin's really at a fucking pivotal moment right now. If it breaks through there, it should just flip dive, scoop up a bunch. I'm going to hold it for like six months or a year. Scoop up a bunch of bonk. <laughs> Look at you, it's shit going. The bottom, you mean the volume on the side there and the moving errors? No, I don't know. Lux, Lux, Lux Algo has like this uh, reversal signal right here. It's saying take profit. Um, and that that the the bears are exhausted, but it said the same thing over here, and then it continued up. So I mean, who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? I still like the shorts personally, but just just what my algo is saying. I'm 
Did my internet just go up? What do you do with this? <laughs> Oh, my power just went out, but it's my sister flicking on and off the lights. <laughs> oh, my back. I feel like it's so stupid to take longs here, but this is how you catch the bottom of a, a downtrend or bottom of a reversal. <laughs> Can we just degen it? No, there's still there's could still be so much room to go down. I don't have any more levels past this though. Yeah, I, wow, I really have no levels here. What the fuck? Anyone have some key levels? My mine stop at two twenty six. That's crazy. Yeah, but I mean that's that's bullish, right? I have no levels past this. That means, uh, never expected to get this low. Let's go on the daily and make some levels. Or not the daily, the four hour. Let's see. Let's create some levels. In the daily, we have... Okay, yeah, we could add one on the daily. This is a pretty key level right here, around there. Okay, so then we'll go on the 4-hour next. We haven't been here since February. Oh, damn, that was two months ago. What? That's crazy. What a bear market. Okay, we could do one level right there. A semi-key level. Maybe another one right here. Da, 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 da. What is this level from? Maybe that's from a five minute or something. Oh, this is another huge level right here. Ish. Okay. Yeah, we should be good for now. If it drops another 300 points, that'd be fucking insane. Let me hide it. Yeah, we're seeing some resistance here, but are we actually going to have a full-blown reversal at all today? You know what I mean? Like, these bear markets, we don't see much of a reversal. Towards the end of the day. Oh, uh, they're talking about me on Top Step TV? <laughs> what do they say? <laughs> Feeling the shorts? Yeah, I mean, we're in a bear market, so shorts would be the obvious way. But it'd be nasty if we caught like a little uptrend. It's reversal o'clock. I'll go with saying trend is done. <clears throat> We're seeing some bullish price action. Not even no, this isn't even bullish. This is just consolidation. Accumulation before the distribution fucking off the cliff another hundred points. Oh shit. Nice. Some guy's up 44k in the live account. Eee. Hopefully that dude fucking takes it and fucking keeps it, dude. <laughs> I actually did I actually did stop trading after that 60k, 65k day or 60 whatever k day. I think I only stopped trading because Top Step called me. They're like, hey bud, you're up sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> like uh you think you should just take profit and walk away? I was like, nah. Uh, it was so funny. I think it was Brett from uh, Risk Management was calling me. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. I mean, shorts seem the obvious way to go. It's just where's our entry going to be? Reckless, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I get reckless. I mean, what what is that that one psychology? Guy? Mark Douglas, <clears throat> he says that after two hours of trading, like your something in your brain like shifts and like you start to get reckless. 
<laughs> so he says to only trade for two hours max a day. That's like the trading psychology guru, Mark Douglas. And I believe it because, you know, in the beginning of the day, if, if an opportunity presents itself and I fucking take it, I make a shitload of money, like, within an hour, two hours, whatever. And then the rest of the day, I just typically end up giving it back, <laughs> is what I noticed. That's exactly what I did yesterday. Like, within, like, an hour or two, I was up 10 Gs on MFFU, like, 4 or 5 Gs on top step. And then uh, the rest of the day, I just did dumb shit. I think in my head I was like, okay, just one more trade. And I lost like 500 or 1,000 bucks out of my my, uh, my 10K per account. So I lost like, what, like two Gs? Easily could have walked away still with eight Gs profit. But then I got fucking pissed and I just went hard <laughs> and fucking ended up burning it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is all about calling it a day at a certain point, which, which is what we're probably going to be doing here soon if, uh, if nothing presents itself, but we'll just finish these up tomorrow. But this looks like it might be a little pop up for the next leg down, so I'd be very interested in taking shorts. Something like this. Yeah, see a little pop up to this trend line? I'll take the shorts on there. Make me hot. You missed me full porting Apex accounts and blowing them right here. I I ended up uh, taking the shorts like right there. Fucking wicked up on me. He <laughs> shot up. And then I was in the shorts again like right here. Fucking shot up. Took the loss. Missed out on this. And then, uh, then we were in the longs right here. We took profit. Flipped to shorts and it fucking rocketed on us and we blew the Apex account. <laughs> so stupid. It just vanished. Could it at 675? Probably scared. Scared it's gonna fucking rocket up there. If you're gonna get filled. We're, we're gonna be taking the shorts here if this pops up just a little bit above here. Living in Spain, but the S is silent. <laughs> blew your PAs. Oh man, I fucking blew my account. Sucks. It's the worst, dude. But uh, hopefully you got a payout out of those at least. I know I wish I took a payout out of my accounts from yesterday. I think once I get these funded, and I have at least three G's in a payout. Like I'm not gonna aim for three G's, but you know, just just trading throughout the day, whatever it gives me. It's over three G's. I'm just gonna take the fucking payout. I'm well over three G's in fucking uh in evals with MFFU, so <laughs> I need to I need to get profitable with MFFU. <laughs> Savage trader, just keep going. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going forever. I uh I'm still deep in profit on the year, so. Actually, no, I'm probably not that deep in this year, in 2024. I've been slacking on taking the payouts. I've had multiple payouts lined up. I took, what, 30-something K at the beginning of the year, like the first four days in. Had another 22 Gs lined up. Didn't take it. Ever since then, it's been kind of downhill. Just not taking payouts. I'm just getting fucking wrecked. Sometimes. Still keep in contact with Drew? No, I haven't talked to Drew in a long time. But Brian's in the Discord. Do you know Brian? I haven't talked to Drew in a while. By the way, Drew and Brian are the guys that... Um, I bought their, uh, their course on options trading. It actually helped me quite a bit. I ended up making a shitload of money with options. 
just stack small 10k payouts. Yeah, I know, I know. I just, it's, for whatever reason, I'll be so fucking disciplined for days, sometimes even, like, a few weeks. And then one day, I'll just fucking lose my shit and blow the accounts, dude. I just need to be really aware of those one days. The fucking off day. It takes a lot, a lot of self-awareness, which is really fucking hard to, to do. <clears throat> this might be all she wrote for the upside right there. Thinking about taking these shorts for the crash through, or at least this bottom. We'll, we'll take one con. Force yourself to not trade the days you lose your shit. I mean, typically I don't know it's one of those days until it's too late. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's see the push through, boys. Or at least the, the sweep of the bottom. I'll probably take profit down there. We'll keep our stop loss pretty tight. It, it might fucking take a little loss here. That's okay. Let's see if we get this, this crash through. If it's even gonna crash through. Yeah, you know that feeling? Yeah. I mean everyone has it, I'm sure. Whether they like to admit meh. Whether they like to admit it or not. It's like I think it's a normal part of trading. Look at his bullishness though. What the fuck? Still three minutes left in this candle? I think he's just doing that. It's gonna fucking shoot up before it dumps off a cliff. So we're we're gonna re enter shorts again. I don't think we're flipping bullish. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah, after the fact, everything's always so obvious. <laughs> I mean, just like with our trades over here, why did I fucking enter right there? It's going to be a win. You know what I mean? Like, everything's always obvious after the fact. <laughs> the, the hardest part is realizing it while it's happening, and then choosing the right course of action, right? Which would usually be stop trading. <laughs> Negative RR. <laughs> you need to make that trade. Make it all back. We, we had too tight of a stop there, apparently. A little bit of manipulation happened. Stop this out. This was pretty much our trade right there. This is like a big bull flag or bear flag. We should see a nice leg down. There, there she blows. Without us, he took a hundred dollar loss instead. <laughs> oh god, should we knife catch this? It'd be beyond stupid, but okay, okay. Okay, yeah, we're gonna knife catch you. Fuck <laughs> Oh god, I hate knife catching. Oh, oh, how about, how about fucking full blown reversal right now? <laughs> I so doubt it's gonna happen, but fuck, if we get lucky, that'd be very nice. Fucking knife catch. Fucking pop it to the moon. Pop it right now. <laughs> This is gonna crash through. Oh my god, look at the volatility coming to. Oh god, this is such a bad idea. Like stop 606, yeah. I think so too. I don't know why I'm in this nice catch. <laughs> Hopefully I just get a nasty wick up. But is it really worth it? Nah, it's, it's not worth it. Oh god, yeah. So stupid. <laughs> oh god. So so silly. Our longs would have been fucking nasty. I mean our shorts <clears throat> below seven twenty. I almost just wanna join this. But I feel like I might start doing dumb shit. 
<laughs> but it's so intense, right, dude? I mean, I want to be in this at all times. We had our stop way too close there. Way, way too close. We knew a second leg was coming. Fucking algos. Don't know shit. But our next pivot point is what? 92? 692? 690-ish? Could Max Con knife catch here? No, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> oh my god. I hate knife catching on various days. But it's like calling my name right now. So I think I might do it. D Gen style. No. No, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> we should have max gotten shorts for this for like a little gap down. Six ninety. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, this is a pivot point. We could try the longs here for a bounce. 692? Okay, yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Don't crash it on us. Don't fucking dump it. Give us a little bounce. Just a little bounce. I'll add one more. Bounce it, bounce it, whatever I got. It's a little bounce. Nothing crazy. Our stop's about to get fucking hit. <sighs> it's such a risky ass knife catch. <laughs> Come on. I'll wake it. Wake it up. Wake it up. This is such a bad idea. <laughs> I really don't think this is going to work out, but there is a small, small chance. Very small. Have a oh yo yo. This is full DGen. Such a bad idea. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's see though. Let's see it work out. <laughs> it works out. I'll be I'll shit myself if this works out. Oh, but how much can it actually work out? Like, is it really gonna go back up to there? If it does, I'll be so happy. But like, is it really going to? So one just because this is like a <laughs> such a stupid play. But I mean, our point just got fucking ran. And it's bouncing, so this could be the reversal, but I seriously, seriously doubt it. <laughs> Don't hide my comments if you wanted to say that, okay? No, you can't get $200 from me. What the fuck do you think this is, a charity? <laughs> Fucking no charity. Exactly what Eric said, asking for a handout gets you nowhere. Buddy boy. <clears throat> so this is actually somewhat holding. We might actually see a little bit of a reversal. Big fucking maybe. More than likely taking this fucking L. Oh god, this next one might be a fucking rip, huh? It flew past our pivot points. I not be holding this probably. Looking for the god dildo up, which is probably not going to come. But we'll add just in case. <laughs> Holy fuck, this is playing with fire right now. Big time. Huh. Big time. Can't believe how fucking heavy we are, too. I can't believe we didn't fucking just take a massive fucking L, so... Like, yeah, like, this is surprising. <clears throat> Usually it's much more vicious than this. I guess we got in at a pretty decent point. That's why we're not deep in losses. This is a horrible idea, by the way. Fucking knife catch. <laughs> Such a horrible idea. Just... 
I guess we are down quite a bit. Okay, we'll 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 work this. <laughs> oh my god. Minus five hundred, we'll get out. Because it's already past our pivot point, so we should technically be out of this already. But <laughs> now we're just kind of praying for a reversal. A little bit of traitor tainment for you guys. And if this works out, then I'll just be fucking super happy. Oh. Oh. Give me my fucking four G's. Give them to me. God candle. God candle. God no no. Come on, man. <laughs> I cannot believe this is working out right now. <laughs> like, I am shocked. <laughs> Use a pump. Pump harder, motherfucker. Okay, we'll take one off just in case. <laughs> I am thoroughly shocked that we did not just blow our accounts right there. <laughs> Holy fuck, are we going to pass these accounts? We need, what, two more Gs? We're halfway there, people. We're halfway there. <laughs> we need one of those fucking god dildos from over here. One of these bad boys. Even tap the trend line, it will be Gucci. Let's see it. That was close. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit close. Let's see the push. There we go. A little bit of a push. Come on. Fucking... I am so fucking shocked that this worked out. <laughs> Thoroughly shocked. But we're still not out yet. We're still in this. Do we want to try finishing these accounts with just this trade? I think we might. If it gets up to that trend line tap, we'll fucking, uh, we'll, we'll pass, I think. We'll be damn near close to it. Come on, can it push up higher, though? This was already way fucking more bullish than I thought it was going to be, so we're, we're looking fucking good. Thoroughly shocked that that worked out. <laughs> I knew it was suspicious that I didn't fucking blow these accounts, like, in an instant. <laughs> like, like, I've done so many times trying to knife catch. <laughs> Holy shit. When the knife catch works, man. <laughs> Would have been so much safer just to sit in shorts up here. Than do what we did. <laughs> My win rate with knife catches is like thirty percent. <laughs> so this is this is one of those rare times that it actually works out. <laughs> we only need what fourteen hundred more. I think we might be able to get it from this. I mean, we we blew past our pivot point. We swept it very nicely. We're in a downtrend day. <clears throat> we should see at least a little bit of a pop. So maybe one more fucking green candle up, and then consolidate, and then probably dump again? Maybe? Maybe a full-blown reversal today? I mean, I'm open for it. I only need 1200 more dollars. Get through that 720 area. Yeah, right up here. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm surprised. I'm surprised it's still so bullish. We might be looking at a reversal. Big fucking maybe though. Yeah, look at that tap like seven eighteen. If it pushes through there, then then we're golden. I'd probably be better off flipping the shorts here. This is pretty fucking bullish, though. Out of nowhere, so it could be reversal time. It's around that time time, too. Clockwise. I'm still fucking shocked that knife catch worked, to be honest. It's like, wow. I haven't had a knife catch work in fucking a hot minute. <laughs> Slowly chugging up. We got 30 seconds of the next candle. 
I wonder if we fucking pop up, break the trend. Or we're going straight back down. I want to only hold one con for this, but... This seems like the trade that passes my account, so... I think we're going to hold the two through it. Let's see. Let's see the pop-up. If we diamond handed those full five, though, I think we would have been passed already. Oh, no, because we only sold one. 98. Yeah, that's 20 points. Yeah, we, we would have passed, I believe. Get a nice little pop. I'll probably sell at the trend line. Mm. Stop at this fucking blue line right here. Halfway down. So I think we're gonna close this. Maybe make a new do. So we are still in a bear trend, remember that boys. I'm just in long still with DGen. Any further down, bro? Hold it. So we'll we'll put a hard stop now. And we're going for the pass. Going for the pass. It's like 27. 727. That's all I need, I think. I think that's a, a full pass. I seriously doubt it, though. I mean, look how fucking bearish we are on the day. But maybe. We'll see. If the stops hit, we hit. <clears throat> Let's get a little pump in. You can just one of those pumps like that. Like, I'd be cool with that. Finish up. Real nice. Ooh, stops hit. Yeah, we're bearish. Holding the downtrend. Very nicely. Instead of looking for a pop up, should be looking for entry short. Need two thousand dollars. What do we think? Consolidate a little bit. Boom! Slam back through the floor. What's our next point? Six oh nine ish. Oh, that's, that's fucking 70 points away. What the? We could, we could probably finish this up with one con. Probably just do two just cause, though. Hopefully my body can pass it. That's why they laughing at the FOMO car. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't miss too much. It didn't fucking spike or anything. It just, uh, it just had like a little, uh, a little pop up that made us like what two G's, one G, something like that. But we are halfway. Yeah, like three hundred fifty-five per con, three hundred per con. We are halfway to finishing these up. We're we're probably gonna finish this up with the shorts. It's kind of diddling around a little bit. We gotta wait for the consolidation off the cliff. Unless I just blast through right here, I mean, this is pretty fucking bearish. However, it is holding. Hmm. 
what do we do here, boys? We wait. That's what we do. We wait. Chill and kill. Ooh, Bitcoin hit 59k. I don't think that's the bottom for it, though. Unless it is. Unless we do just get back in our longs. Key point on Bitcoin. Not so key point on NQ. Hmm. Now we want to look for shorts. I think still. I think I think we still have room to go. That six hundreds level seems pretty solid. Better entry. We're gonna get one more pop back up. Shake out the rest of the shorts. Looks like we're going to dump right through. I don't want to take a short entry here, though. I guess it's not terrible. But it's not great either, so yeah, we'll, we'll wait. Wait for a pop-up. Yeah, something like that, actually. This could be it. Each leg is getting smaller. Hmm. A little iffy. There's a trend line path. So we'll, we'll just take a short just because we're following the trend. I'm going to do two cons. Let, let's see if this works out. If it doesn't, then that's fine. But <clears throat> Maybe we could finish up our accounts here with this next leg down. Let's see the drop. For sure, it's way to break 78. Yeah, but by then it could just wick us up, just like it did right here when I waited for that breakout trade. I hate breakout trading so much. <laughs> Let's see it. Maybe we'll take one off, just in case. Lock in some profits. We need $800 to pass. Yeah, we're so close. There's the break. Push it. Push it. Push it. What's up, Brian? Some some guy in here was just asking about you and uh, Drew, Brian. <laughs> Who was asking about Drew's? Fucking <sighs> one of the boys. Full porting, yeah. <laughs> silly, silly full porting. Yeah. We don't need to talk about it. <laughs> Let everyone keep their own business. And let's fucking pass these accounts. We're fucking $600 away. So close. And we're still... Well, fucking away from our pivot point at 607, but I don't have any points in the middle of that. So I'm just going to assume we're just going to drop in one fucking candle to 607. <laughs> but it's holding this trend so beautifully, Jesus. All day, besides that one giant fucking god dildo that, that wrecked us, that we were anticipating too. Just fucking switch sides like fucking idiots. But so far, today has been a very, very clean day. Clean, clean downtrend. These are the days where you make a shitload of money. Ah, dope. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to check that out, Brian. Brian is one of our damn good mafia teachers, by the way. 
So doing one-on-one -on -one classes for beginners. If you're brand new to trading, he will give you the rundown one-on-one -on -one, plus teach some basic strategies just to get you started. I need, a, I need to make a link for that on the website as well. But uh, he's also building a beginner's course for us on the DGT Mafia website, which is dgtmafia.com. If you want to become a capo in the Mafia, go on the website, sign up for the membership, get access to a full list of courses that we're still building, so it's not completely done yet, but it is growing slowly. And you also get access to me live day trading, which I have been on break for a while. Um, so if anyone signed up in the meantime, I got to give them a month free. But I need to fucking pass these accounts right now. And also check out DGTMafia.com. Brian is the man who taught me how to trade when I was brand spanking new. And also... I made a shitload of money from options with what he taught me. Which is just basically, you know, supply and demand plus some other stuff. Just the fundamentals. When, once you get a grip on the fundamentals, it's it's a game changer. Really just understanding the market and how it works opens the door to so many opportunities. So, so many opportunities. Starting to seem like we're uh, getting a little weak on the bearish side, huh? Still holding our trend, but just soft pushes down instead of those brutal ones from earlier. Are we actually going to get to 606 or 600s ish? More than likely. Just takes a little bit of patience, so we'll kill. Chill and kill. I'm gonna put our trend line, but this time it might fucking break it. Shit. Could add for the pass right down there, but I think it's a little risky. Because we are starting to see a little bit of bullishness. Not really just, not really bullishness, but we're seeing like passive sellers like fading away. Seems like the the push down isn't isn't strong. Bitcoin's holding its levels too. That motherfucker needs to drop off a cliff already. Let's see if we can just pass this with the one con that we have. No need to add more. Just keep the trend going. We're Gucci. What, like 50-ish will pass? Maybe even before then? We would have added that second one, though. We would have been done. Or very close to done. In hindsight, boys, in hindsight. Looking back, everything makes sense all the time. After the basics are simple, that's fucking right. No need to overcomplicate trading. Once you start overcomplicating it, that's when that's when shit gets like dusty. Like, oh, fuck, look at this five-minute candle. Oh, my God, it's a little bit bullish. Fucking max port long.
Like, literally, like, look at this line. Like, just a simple trend line it followed the entire fucking day. Like, like that's how simple trading is. Just find a trend and fucking ride it. If it's not a trending day, then forget about it. Because fuck, is it hard to make money when it's not a trend day? It needs to push through, like right here. <clears throat> I have a bad feeling it's going to come up to my entry. I can just re-enter when it gets up there. Real close to, to my other trend line though. Let's see if it holds. I just need one more push down, like a nice one. Not even a nice one, just like a semi-decent one and we're Gucci and we pass these MFFU accounts today. <clears throat> Make it harder. We're gonna put a hard stop here too, because uh, I don't want this to fiddle fiddle around too much and just fucking mood on us. We'll put it put it right above here. Good chance we get stopped out. But if we do, that's okay. This is more than likely gonna move very hard in one direction. Not like a little move, but like a pretty decent move. Hopefully it's to our side. Off the cliff! Are you bullying liquidity in the crosshairs? 768, 768, or... 768, yeah. I mean, a break of this low and we're pushing. Assuming. Push it. Push it. Push it to the limit. Patience. Patience. Patience gonna pay. Patience. Patience. Patience usually pays. We can't hide Oh shit. We made it do low. It's not pushing. It's gonna stop us out? Gee. Ooh. Thanks for subbing Nicholas Leupold. Learning with the clip? Yes, he is. We don't even need that big of a clip. I just wasn't paying attention. I don't even know how much we would have. I mean, how the fuck am I going to take profit that fast? Anyways. Oh, it's raining in Bali, boys. Surprise, surprise. It's going to rain for 10 minutes and then stop. <laughs> that was an inducement. I just swept up that liquidity, so... Assuming there was liquidity there, it could actually end up going up. But now we're still in a super nice downtrend, so 
Let's hold this and see if it plays out. But few ticks higher were stopped out. Like three ticks. Above this candle's high. New candle in ten seconds. This this should be should be a sharp move here soon. We're consolidating or we're accumulating pretty fucking hard right now. Let's get the push. Five hundred away. Get her done, bud. Diddling. <clears throat> Big old diddler. Okay, I got a sick idea. We flip longs, full port, for fucking two points. Nah, no, I just get it. <laughs> fucking dubs off a cliff, pull the account. <laughs> I've done that before, by the way. <laughs> like $500 away from passing, or like super close to passing. Full port the other direction, just for a little scalp, and just... <laughs> Oh, God, I did so much dumb shit while trading. Bali Rain is next level. Can you guys hear that or nah? It's not that loud. It's literally loud. No dying. What? What happened? You okay? Hmm? So fucking close. Just inching down. Four hundred away, three hundred. So close, boys. Come on, just one little. Let's see. Let's see if we can get like a super fat push, just real quick. Down there, that should be around. Probably need way less than that, actually. Just to make sure. So close. This is diddling. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is going to push. I mean, you think get out? I don't know. I think it might have another push down, which is all we need. We could move or stop. It's really, really diddling, but sometimes it does this right before a massive cliff dive. Sharp one. We can move our stop a little bit above there, yeah. I definitely don't want to get out and get into longs because this could still fucking dump it. But it's really starting to weaken up quite a bit. I'm wondering if we're going to get stopped out of here and get a nice pump. 
doubtful though. Just accumulating for the dump. Is that enough? Yeah, that should be enough. <clears throat> Take profit? Nah, no, it's either gonna hit the stop or it's gonna hit the take profit. <laughs> we need four hundred dollars more. It really does look like it's gonna pop up though. It'll just hit our stop if it does. Stick to the plan. No letting anticipation build up. Golly, look at look at those soft little pushes though. I mean, I guess I could just soft push for a hundred points, but seventy eight. Yeah, assuming assuming we just keep making new lows, or we could we could fucking take profit, re-enter shorts for the five hundred bucks. I really think we should reach. Take profits. Really messy TA. Oosh. Yeah, this is this is tough to trade with Apex because of all the up and down. The bull trend fucking or if uh if the bulls come in hot, fucking that trailing is gonna be fucking ripped. Four hour charts? Take a look. <laughs> the four hour chart jesus christ look at it just a giant red dildo <laughs> but like we're in the middle of nowhere like i have no points here i guess we're in this area right here i guess this is kind of a, a pivot point that i didn't have charted So that's why we're diddling. If we break through here, we're looking for, we're looking at 606. Fairly fast, I think. Golly, is this taking forever though? We're three hundred dollars away. Uh two hundred two fifty. It's so close. Oh, push it, push it, push it. <laughs> push it down. Fifty dollars, yeah. <laughs> we got it, boys. Woo! Funded with my funded futures, baby. Let's go! Ooh, fuck yeah! Thank the Lordy, Jesus. That last, oh, fucking make sure you fucking hit exit at market and cancel always, dude. That fucking could have got filled and fucking made us not pass. <laughs> but we did it, boys. Woo! Full port it right now. For cool points with you guys, or what? <laughs> they just wouldn't give a shit. They'd be like, good job, dude. Like, nothing changes. You just added a shitload of risk for no reason. <laughs> we could buy some top step combines, because I did blow my, uh, my top step XFAs yesterday like a fucking tard. But, nah, I, I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're done for the day. We got our MFFU funded accounts. We're officially funded. And we're ready to fucking make some money. Let's go. All we need to do is make over $2,000 with our new funded accounts. And then anything over that is withdrawable immediately. So if we make $10,000 per account, we'll be withdrawing a whopping... What was that? twenty four grand? Ooh, that would be beautiful. Yeah, I would love to withdraw 24 grand, which could be possible this week. We'll see how the days go. I'm loving the bear markets. If you guys want to try my funded futures, make sure you guys use DGT at checkout. Give you the max discount available. And if enough people do it, then they'll start giving me free accounts to dish out to you guys. Same with trade day and, you know, basically every prop firm. Just DGT at checkout.
Apex says they'll give me free accounts. Trade Day says they'll give me free accounts to give out. And so does my funded futures. So if you guys want to try them out, DGT, coupon code at checkout, max discount possible. Whatever their promo is, you'll get the max discount and give out free accounts to lucky winners. And like I said earlier, if, if someone's blown like just a tremendous amount of accounts, I might just give them an account because because the blowing accounts does suck. And sometimes I, I've blown a shitload of accounts before. And sometimes it gets hard, and sometimes just a little freebie changes the game mentally. No, no, you don't. You could take a payout every 14 days. So, so in one day, you could take out max payout over 2K. You just need to have that buffer, right? You could take out max payout um, with expert accounts. I'm talking about expert accounts, not starter accounts. Starter accounts are a little different. I don't even know what their the rules are. But with expert accounts, anything over 2100, I believe, is instantly withdrawable. And then after that, you got to wait the 14 days for the next payout. And you only need to trade like one day a week. So let's say, let's say I make fucking 20K per account. I can withdraw the 18K per account, which is 36. Fuck, that's a lot of money. 36, 44, 54K. Withdraw that immediately, and then, you know, I could do another payout on whatever profit I make um, 14 days later. Look at this push down, though. This, this is just a beautiful, beautiful trend day. This is literally just a sit and hold day. Right off a cliff. Bitcoin following suits, too. Perfect. 20 accounts, make 200 a day. Yeah, that's with uh, that's with Apex. So you can't have twenty accounts with anyone but Apex that I know of. Yeah, it is. But like we tried, we tried today with Apex and we blew them. We passed the My Funded Futures accounts, but we fucking blew our Apex accounts, which I think we just traded a little too heavy. We just needed to go. I just hate the trailing profit drawdown. Like, on today, it would have been perfect if we just bought one con, right? Because we would have passed with one con. But, like, let's say it wasn't a trend day. I mean, we could have got fucking plowed. It's, it's just so hard with Apex. I think I might just be overcomplicating it. Because, I mean, we made four Gs with, what, one con, two cons? Oh, and besides our knife catch over here? <laughs> Cannot believe that worked out. Still, that was so funny, but, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll try Apex one more time. We'll get 10 more accounts. We'll probably degen five of them, max port at the bell, mark it open, and then the other five, we'll just trade one con, see if we could, um, either scalp or just get a nice trend day like today. Like, today was a beautiful day. We still suspected to go to 606. Dude, it hit 615. Holy shit. What a fucking day. Literally just bought bought shorts at open. And that's like 350 points. Holy god. Moly boys. What a day. We got our MFFU funded accounts. So we're going to call it a day. And I'm going to... 1 a.m. here, so I'm probably going to go to sleep soon. Um, next live will be next Wednesday for sure. Possibly another day. We'll see. Click. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have the notification bell. Um, if you're on Discord and you're active in Discord, make sure you're in my Discord. You could join the Nodi Mafia, which is basically a notification um, system in Discord where you just click on it in the designated channel. It's called the Nodi Mafia channel or something, like, no, Discord notification channel, some shit. Yeah, actually, we could take a look. Yeah, if you want to get notified on Discord, live on YouTube channel right here. Boom. Go over here, click this little bell, and it'll give you a notification every time uh, I go live. Which I could go live another time besides Wednesday, but Wednesday for sure on YouTube. 
Um, if you want to get notified right there, official links. This is DGTMafia.com. If you want to become a capo in the mafia, you get this sick, sick uh, role. Lewis Holden, these guys are all capos too, but these guys were with me for a long time, so they're the OGs. You get a capo role if you join the mafia, plus extensive course courses on trading and education. And I'm thinking about giving out one session with Brian, the man who taught me how to trade, um, along with the membership. It's not confirmed yet, so yeah. No promises there, but then here we go with all the affiliate links, DGT at checkout for mass discount with all of these. Recruiting Crypto Fund Trader, um, which is crypto, which I'm not going to use them right now because I'm going to use my own money. I'm going to put like 35 Gs in bonk <laughs> when, it, when it feels right. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go balls deep and bonk, which is a Solana meme coin. <laughs> and the reason I'm gonna do it is because I'm bullish on Solana, and meme coins like to fucking rip. So when the time is right, I'm gonna fucking put my 35 grand in bonk, probably hold it for months, and hope that it 10x's, right? Because everyone's saying Bitcoin's gonna hit 500k, da da da. So that means if Solana you know, 10Xs, which I don't think Bitcoin will 10X, but Solana could, if Bitcoin doubles even, I believe Solana could run up there, um, which will bring the meme coins with it, which yield possibly a higher percentage of uh, returns. So if Solana goes up 2X, you know, the meme coin might go up 4X, right? It's very, very possible. So that's what I'm looking for. and. Uh, yeah, I think uh, actually I'm gonna get on this pre-sale with uh, with knuckles here. <laughs> Not financial advice, but uh, I might yolo this shit. <laughs> it's just a stupid ass meme coin based around Sonic. <laughs> I actually think this is an awful choice. I think it's so fucking bad. So I do not recommend anyone <laughs> going for for knuckles here. <laughs> but if you want to, you can check it out. <laughs> It's such a bad idea. It's such a fucking bad idea. <laughs> Think Ethereum it's safer? Yeah, but I want Bonk. I, I like Bonk. I just have a good feeling about it. <laughs> I would never put 35k into Bonk. <laughs> it is super degen, but you just fucking... Like, it. <laughs> it is, like, ridiculous. I mean, this is even more retarded than Bonk. Bonk is, like... A fairly, fairly okay degen coin. <laughs> it is, it is a terrible idea. Like nobody should do that, like ever. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. Let's check out Bonk. <laughs> Such, a... <laughs> Such a shit coin. It's unbelievable. But I mean, I actually did have Bonk right here. It fucking ran up, and no, not right there. No, hold on, where the fuck, hold on, let's go to the hourly chart. I had Bonk right over here, and uh, it 3X'd, on the, 4X'd, almost 5X'd on that fucking bull run with Bitcoin. So, I mean, like, if, if I didn't fucking pussy out, I pussy it out somewhere, like, over here. I had, like, 10K in there. And I pussied out. I mean, if it, you know, if we get a bull run, then there's no fucking way we don't rip through this high. And that's that's a 4x from right now. Or like a 3x. But I plan on copying this around the 8 cent mark. So I wanted to make a new low here. Make a new low. Make everyone lose fucking hope and panic sell. And I'm gonna fucking run into. I'm I'm gonna fucking go balls to the wall with this. And I'm I'm aiming for a 10x, which would be like 350k. So I mean, it'll take months more than likely, but if it happens, then fuck, I'll be happy. If it doesn't happen, I'm risking 25k. So I'll keep 15k out of it for sure, no matter what. But I I'm risking 25k for sure. Me long in DJT. <laughs> 
What do you mean long and DJT? Fucking eh. I, I don't know if longs are still a play. It's still holding this trend line. Pulling the trend line super hard. Stupid idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It, it's 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 somewhat of a stupid idea, huh? I want to see their website. I haven't even seen their website. This is a stupid idea for sure, but their pre-sale is in four hours, so I'm going to fucking YOLO it. Bonk meme coin website. <laughs> Bonk coin. <laughs> Bonky new. <laughs> Worm day boy. Okay. Bonk, yeah, look at this. This is a cute little fucking dog, dude. I mean, what's, what's wrong? There's nothing wrong with a cute little ass dog. Initially launched as a free airdrop in Solana community on Christmas Day in 2022. Look at that. It was an airdrop. The Bonk's adoption has since grown parabolically to emerge as the true community coin of Web3. 619k holders. I mean, 119 integrations, 10 chains. I mean, this right here is enough for me to to go balls deep, to be honest. It doesn't take much for me to... What the fuck? Gaming? Uh, they're getting into gaming, too. Yeah, it's listed on Coinbase, Binance. I mean, this is like a degen coin, but it's like mainstream. I did look at the holders, though, and... um. Some a few people, no one one wallet holds like ten percent of the bonk, which gets me a little nervous. But uh, I'm gonna join their Discord actually. <laughs> Let's see these re. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, I'm bonk to the moon, bonk to the fucking moon." <laughs> oh shit! Oh, wow. What is this? Okay, right, turn it on. Healing. Am I healing? I need to get this on my server. This is pretty cool. Pendez Guard Beta. I might actually add that to my server. Kind of annoying though, but yeah, let's see. Buying Bonk at. Point zero 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 eight, for sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll see. Bonk is a completely degen idea, but everyone says it's a degen idea until fucking I make three hundred k on it, right? <laughs> you never know. You you just never fucking know which which degen coin is gonna fucking moon. You know what I mean? And Bonk is on Solana, number one meme coin on Solana. <clears throat> it's like in the top 10 meme coins, so I think it has a good shot. PP already ran its course. Shiba Inu ran its course as well. You won't get those kind of returns or that kind of risk <laughs> from any other meme coins. So, I mean, I think it's worth a shot. I'm going to put 35k in there. Fucking moonshot. Hopefully we get a nice crypto bull run. Pro my problem is everyone's expecting the crypto bull run. So, like, there has to be a devastating drop, I would think, before the crypto bull run. Which, you know, could not be, could just, like, not be anytime soon. You know what I mean? I, I don't know when it when it's going to happen. Nobody knows. But uh, I would assume there needs to incite fucking high level of panic, right? And at 60k, no one's really panicking. Everyone that, that bought at the top is still holding. They're minus like 30% or whatever right now, but there's no panic yet. So I would assume it needs to drop down to like 57k-ish. Which is where, where I'm targeting. But 50k, fuck me, that would be a hell of a drop. Yeah. Everyone everyone and their moms think Bitcoin is going to fucking moon, so there needs to be a certain level of panic before a monster run. Otherwise, everyone's going to be a fucking millionaire. Everyone's going to be super rich. The world cannot have that. A drop to 16k would be maddening. 26k. To 
December 2022. That was only four months ago. October. Yeah, I mean, let's let's see what uh, let's see what happened in um. Is this the last bull run? Uh, this yeah, 21. This was the last bull run. So it popped up to 60k, 64k, dropped down to 29k. Wow. So we could be looking at yeah, 29k ish, not 30, 35, 40k ish. Before the second leg up, we already broke this high. So if history repeats itself, we're looking at back down to 43k ish. Bounce there, break the highs, and then dump off a cliff again if history repeats itself. But I would assume we'd go to at least like the real the real pump would be like 150k ish. I mean this this was what April? Oh, we're in April right now. So in May it fell off a fucking cliff. In June, July, July it started the pump, so I might be waiting till July to be to be getting in here. And then in November, fucking moon, goddamn, we have so much time, <laughs> so much, so much time. But that's okay, patience will pay. I don't think crypto's going anywhere, so I'm gonna do it. I'm not missing out. Not gonna miss out, baby. Oh shit! There's cops that bell the bells going on right now. Missed form one though, so. Uh... All right, boys. GGS. We got our MFFU funded accounts. Good day. Blew our fun Apex accounts, unfortunately, but whatever. Uh, fucking Apex. Oh, look at this pump. But uh, yeah, we're good on the day. We're funded. MFFU. And uh, till next time, make sure you have those notifications on, boys, because you never know when I'm going to go live on YouTube. And good night, everybody. For me, it is 1 a.m., and I am out of here.